Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Viking Wizard here, so I'm going to be unboxing Celebration Day 30 years of Mob Rules from the German power metal band Mob Rules formed way back in 1994, so this is a 2CD compilation. And for what I can see, it's a best of, and then you get some um, unreleased tracks, some re-recorded, previously digital only, and stuff like that, which I actually cannot wait to get into and give this one a listen. And um, see what the re-recorded and awesome of the unreleased sound like. So I can't wait. I'd love to see this band live. I've never seen them, so hopefully I get to see them at some point. And they come to the UK, or I might have to travel to Europe to see them. But look at that artwork. Don't you just love that beautiful artwork? And you've got the back, CD1, CD2. This came up for, available for pre-order on Amazon, so I didn't even look into what it was, and it just said a new Mob Rules release, so I, it was a no-brainer. I thought I'm pre-ordering it. I do that with some bands. If I see something pop up of a band, I will, um, into, I will literally pre-order it straight away without looking, and then once I pre-ordered it, then I can do my research and little research to have a look because with Amazon they don't take out the funds for the CD they don't take out the money until like I think it's like three days before it's been when it gets dispatched they'll take the money so say like three days before summer they'll take the money out which is cool because then say you've got a month to decide whether you want it but you can easily cancel it and you know I think it's cool so let's get into this I do like the artwork, I think that's cool. I'll show you the discs and then I'll show you the inlay. Then we'll get into this book. There is CD1. This one is CD2. Oh, and this one I don't drop the CD. There's the inlay, that's cool. This is well cool. I'm gonna be listening to this the moment I've actually finished this um, video. I've been currently listening to Overkill because I did an unboxing video of Overkill on the YouTube channel with I think it's like <coughs> I believe it's like six studio albums on one and I thought um, I need to get through them so I've listened to like four of them or something like that and there's two more in the box set before I finish listening to them which is awesome that cool book Into the Hills Iron Maiden cover, that's cool. Take it from the album Hallowed Be Thy Name, that's an awesome album cover. Plus, obviously, <coughs> it's my favorite or one of my favorite Maiden songs, Way of the Wall, that's cool. Ignore the noise if you're gonna make in the background, it's my washing machine making a strange noise. I need to give that a little look at Ghost Time re recorded previously digital only, which is cool. So that's absolutely awesome seeing all these, um, seeing some of this stuff. Beast Reborn is a fantastic album. So if you haven't listened to that one, I highly recommend it. So yeah, it's cool when a band release a best of, but I do like it when a band actually release a best of, and rather than it's just all the stuff off the studio albums that you actually see on their albums. Some of the songs are like, say, Radio Edit, or they do like um, a re-recorded version, or you get a, like a live version or some unreleased and stuff, which is awesome. So there is Klaus Dirks, vocals, Florian Dees, Ballis, guitar, Sven Lud, guitar, Jan Christian Halfbrut, I think that's how you pronounce it, keyboards. Marcus Brinkman, bass, Sebastian Smith, drums. That's awesome. Those are the members. Some more of the showing you what albums, but I do need to get a copy. I am missing some of their stuff, so I'm missing like three or four studio albums, and I'll have the entire Mob Rules collection, which will be cool to get all their albums in my collection. It's a fantastic band. That's cool. The back is just the, the two last tracks and then it's who they're thanking and all that sort of stuff and the credits and everything. That's what I'll call. But um, yeah, this is awesome. So I actually can't wait to um, listen to this, especially all the unreleased stuff. So I will put a link in the description for this band. So 
if anything piques your interest, whether it's the artwork or something like that, and if you like, yeah, power metal, I'm actually wearing a UK power metal shirt at the moment of a, a band from Yorkshire called um, Cell Sword. So if you've not listened to them, then definitely give those a listen. But yeah, put a link in the description, go check them out. I'm on a group on Facebook called Power Symphonic. I think you can see the flag up there and it's dedicated to stuff like um, Marvel, Cell Sword, Hammer Force, Stratovarius, Nightwish, all that fantastic stuff. So like for the genres of power metal, symphonic power metal, symphonic metal, epic metal, fantasy metal, neoclassical metal, traditional metal, alphatic metal, space sci-fi, all of that, like all fantasy based mainly, fantasy sci-fi, all that sort of stuff. So like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Dungeons and Dragons, Vikings, Wizards, um... Saving the Princess from the Castle, um, Slaying Dragons, Knights and all that brilliant stuff. I think we've got nearly 7k members at the moment, which is fantastic. And then um, there's loads of musicians in the group. So I've got everything from like Maria Stenilson's Legend of Valley Doom. I've got Maria Stenilson in there and I'm friends with a load of the power metal musicians. So hope you all enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next one. If you wouldn't mind locking and subscribe, hit that notification bell and all that sort of stuff because it helps my channel grow and I'd love to do this full time. But it's mainly unboxing videos I do, but then I do my latest haul, work finds, gig reviews, talk about the bands I love. Um, I've got Bloodstock next month, so I'm going to Bloodstock Open Air, so there'll be a merch haul from Bloodstock video. And then I'll be doing a video of me just nattering about and ranting on about Bloodstock and my experiences. Plus, obviously, I'll be recording some of the bands, bit of like a minute or something of their song, just so I can post it in the shorts, so you can actually see what it was like, my experiences at Bloodstock. So I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next one. So Viking Wizards signing off. Have a good one. See you later.